Today we're going to take a look at prototyping um, within a tool called Sketch and essentially developing a, um, a prototype of an application that uh, we'll be building a storyboard, uh, we'll be um, exporting the assets, the image assets, into Alpha Anywhere and then we'll be constructing uh, a single page application with a UX component um, using those assets and, and the objective really is to give the uh, end user a feel of what this application is going to look like. So this is really a nice thing to do when you as a developer are working with a new customer, you're working on an application, you have some ideas on what you'd like to present and um, prototyping it within an application like Sketch or any prototyping tool well, you know, it allows you to do the screen layouts, start to generate the graphic assets that you're going to be using within the application. That's very commonly done. A lot of designers do it, so you'll also see how to work with artwork that's coming from designers. And I hope this gives you some ideas on, you know, just kind of a, a, some, some of the new things that you can do within uh, Alpha Anywhere with some of the uh, new controls that are in the product. So. I want to just kind of go through my mindset on, on how I got into this and, and why, I, why I built this. So um, I was looking at this tool called Sketch. It runs on a Mac. Uh, it's a $99 tool for uh, doing uh, prototyping and, uh, and actually for generating the graphic assets that you would use in a mobile app. It's really nice. Um, I just got it like a week ago, so I was just playing around with it, and I was thinking, well, what could I build uh, that would be of interest to alpha developers? And also, I would like to show off some work that I've done. I've just recently integrated the Stripe uh, JavaScript API. So Stripe lets you make uh, purchases within an application. It's really nice. Um, and I'm working on um, hopefully doing the Apple Pay version of that. So Stripe supports that. So. Um, that was sort of my focus to say, okay, well, I also need an app that you know where you buy something like tickets or something like that. So I was thinking, okay, so what could I use for that? And um, I went to um, the site for the Boston Ballet, and uh, so here you're actually looking at my iPhone, and and so this was where I went, and um, you know I, it, this is not a mobile site, so it's it's uh, it's a desktop browser site. And I was thinking, well, how could I make this thing better? You know, if I were proposing something to the Boston Ballet, what would I present? I, you know, to give them some idea of what I thought this could look like on a, on a you know, in a mobile app. So, um, without getting too uh, detail oriented, I just put some screens together to build an application. So, um, let's take a look at that. So here we are in Sketch, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you sort of how I put this thing together, and we'll work on one of the pages, and then uh, and then we'll take a look at at the all of the graphic assets that I created, and then uh, importing those into Alpha and using those to build a uh, prototype. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this. So this is Sketch right here. I'm running on my MacBook Pro, and I'm running. You'll see Windows is in the background, so I'm running Parallels there. Um, this is a trial version that I downloaded for, uh, I think I have 30 days on it, and uh, it's the full-blown app, so you can really get a sense of what this thing does. Um, so what we're going to start out doing here in Sketch is we're going to start and we're gonna, with an artboard. So, and we're going to set our prototype application. We're going to target the iPhone uh, 6 in portrait mode. So here now I've, en I've included an artboard that's specifically um, set up now for an iPhone 6. And now what I did was I went to the Boston Ballet website and grabbed their logo and some of the assets that were on there um, on the screen that I had just shown you. So and I, I created those as um, objects or symbols and so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll, we'll just start the whole process and I'll in, insert a symbol and I'll show you how I built that. Uh, so the first thing I'll do is drop in a panel with a logo. And so all this is, when we look at it over here, so that is a symbol, 
And then the main logo is just a JPEG that I um, got from the website. And then the rectangle is the background. So I was looking at the, the, uh, some of the graphics that were part of the, uh, the page that I wanted to build. And I just sampled some of the colors. And, I, and then so I built this, uh, this background with this, with this blending fill. And uh, it's fairly easy to do here. You can specify your, your start color. And then you can specify you know, the middle color that you want here and then and then your your ending color so I could just play around with some colors there and get it say okay I you know get it to a point where I liked it uh, and then of course I positioned the logo specifically where I wanted it then let's go in and insert a oh, I'm sorry let's go in and insert another symbol I'm so I gotta get up in here So here's our bottom menu, and we'll place this, say, right here. Now, this, the bottom menu, you can see it's made up of uh, numerous rectangles. So as I highlight them, you can see what's going on with the, the different rectangles and then the text that's associated with them. So I was able to specify the, uh, in this case, I'm using the Avenir, Avenir font. Uh, it's a nice-looking font. I thought it looked really good. It's got a real modern sort of feel to it. It looks like it belongs on an iPhone. And then I also um, entered, uh, so I'm going to enter in some graphics here. And uh, so let's go, I'm going to just close these on down. And we'll go ahead and insert another symbol. In this case, let's bring in the, uh, this graphic which is another graphic that I grabbed from the website and we'll just position that right there and next I want to bring in some more text uh, to talk about this uh, this particular ballet so uh, the same thing we'll go in and do an insert of a, a symbol that I have created which is just a rectangle and some text and let's drop that in say right about there so you can see now I've 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 built a you know a full starting page for this application. Now I didn't pay attention to say I, you'll you'll notice this is just all text, and I'm not worried about the fact that it's scrolling. This this will be a scroller in here because we can't fit all of the text at this size within this um, this area. So the actual application will have a scroller in here. But for the purposes of prototyping this application, I don't care about that. I'm not going to worry about details like that. But I am going to make these buttons do things. And, uh, and we will have a group of these uh, panels that we'll be able to uh, take a look at so that we can, give that the, we can give the user some sense of how this app is going to flow. And that's kind of the purpose of this. You know, do you like the color scheme? Do you buy into you know, what we're doing uh, with this application? So I've created a, a page with this one uh, asset on it, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, bring up the page that I created that has all of the assets that I ended up using. And so here we can see we've got um, multiple layouts for multiple screens. And I notice I have a blurred version here. And uh, um, so I've got a, a panel that's just got no text in it. I'm going to use that for videos. And, uh, and then we have the events panel over here. And what I did with all of these, and they're built the exact same way that, I just, that you just saw. You know, you can see um, all the different uh, layouts. These are all different layouts here. So there's the, uh, the videos layout is this one right here. And you can see the way it's made up with the bottom menu, the panel with logo. Uh, and these, of course, have been replicated across. But the thing that's really amazing about this is once you create all these assets, then you can go out and you can export these assets. So I can, if, you, if, if I select this um, layout, I can set up my exports over here. In my case, I exported this multiple ways. I'm going out at half scale, which uh, is going to work well with alpha in uh, live preview uh, because this is set up for a retina display right now. 
and I'm going to go out as a PNG and an SVG file. The reason I'm playing around with S SVG files is because SVG files can be scaled. So uh, in the future, um, this is something that we're working on at Alpha so that we'll be able to use these types of layouts and then let them, they'll be able to run on all different size devices once we can move to uh, an SVG file, which is a uh, vector uh, graphic file. But we can export it right here. I just click on this button right here and it will go out and export um, you know, the files exactly as the way I want them. I'm going to cancel right now because I've already done this. So uh, that's what we did with Sketch. And you can see it's, it, didn't, it took me probably an hour to do the whole thing. And uh, I can make changes to it really easily and publish them back and so on. So it's uh, an amazing tool. And believe me, I've just scratched the surface with this thing. So let's go back to uh, Alpha now and see what I did from there. So what I did was I set up a panel navigator and I, dr I did one panel card and I put it in an absolute layout. Then what I did was I positioned for the background image one of the assets that I just created. So this is the first page. So I positioned that within the absolute layout container and then I went in and I had created four buttons and uh, with there was no actions assigned to them they're just four buttons um, I went in to assign the absolute position for the controls here and you'll notice so I've got button one up here the idea is that if you click on that you're always going to come back to the root then button two to buy tickets button three uh, to look at videos and button four to uh, bring up the events page so um, these are going to be transparent buttons they're overlaying these graphics but they're going to give us the the functionality of the button so on the buttons themselves notice I'm setting the inline style of the opacity to zero and uh, so we won't see these but they're going to still work and then on the click event then we're bringing up, in this case, I'm logging the fact that the panel's been activated. That's for my debugging. So I can bring it up in, in uh, Firefox and see what's going on. And um, also, we're saying the active panel here to panel card one. And we're going to transition that into view. So what I did on the uh, panel navigator was I set it up as uh, an animation, a fade animation at 800 uh, milliseconds. That seems to be what a lot of the modern apps are doing now, just sort of fading things in and out, and I thought that would look good. Um, and when all I did was for all these other panels, I just replicated, uh, I set up the panel cards, replicated the uh, absolute layout, and then just, um, just positioned it in each associated panel card. Then just all I did was change the, uh, um, the image. So... Uh, and I did not have to uh, to remap the uh, the uh, essentially the uh, areas that are referenced by those buttons because they really didn't change. So it was really really simple to uh, to bring all of this in. And then let's just take a look at it running. So I'm going to look at it here. We'll just bring it up in live preview. So here's our application on an iPhone 6. And remember, it's only going to look right on the iPhone 6 because that's what I set it up for. That's what I'm going to show my customer. So when I click on videos, for example, it's going to transition to the videos page. And this will play in place here. If I transition to the events page, the, the video will cancel. I'm now looking at the events information. If I click on this button here, we're going to go back to the uh, original page. And when I click on buy tickets, it's going to bring up Stripe. And in this case, it's going to allow me to, uh, uh, this is with a test account that I have, but it would allow me to uh, make a purchase. And so I'll say, go ahead and do that. And, uh, and that'll go away. And uh, then we transition to a panel that says thank you and, and, and so on. So here I've shown you how to build all these graphic assets, how to, uh, uh, play around with Sketch and uh, how to export the files so you could bring them into Alpha. 
how to use the um, absolute layout containers and how to position buttons on there and so you could transition into panels so you could uh, give a, a customer a real good sense of, of what you had in mind for an application. The beauty of this is that it's so simple to change it. If you want to go back and make changes to those images or whatever, you can. You can change the whole palette if you want, bring it on back in, let your customer take a look at it. Uh, it's, a, it's a great way of developing that initial application, that initial look and feel. And you know, The way that application looks and feels is just so important nowadays that it's, it's really worth understanding how to use some of these design tools. And uh, so I hope you learned something new today. Thank you.